guys welcome back okay so i know i look like a little 80s watermelon today <laughs> but it's all good okay i wanted to play in some bright green and some pink and so this is what we have okay so anywho today i am playing in my beauty creations alicia palette okay it has this cute little kind of like alice in wonderland theme to it if you can see that, it has like the little teacups, the little clock. It's a really cute palette, you know, and it's like bright green with the little tree and all that stuff. So I was feeling bright green today, y'all. Okay. So yeah, anyway, on the back, it has the ingredients. It's cruelty free, not a whole lot of hubbub, but it is a decent sized palette. Now it does come with a unicarton. <laughs> and a plastic sheet as you can see but it does come with a unicarton that has the exact same design as the palette exact same information so you know you can choose to keep it toss it whatever you like but this is the alicia let me go ahead and open her up so you can look at this gorgeous palette okay look at these colors y'all <laughs> very bright of course you can see why i was drawn to this palette Beautiful bright colors, greens, pinks, purples, yellows, blues, the whole gamut has a black in here that's nicely pigmented also. Um, these two light shades down here are actually shimmers. So this light, light pink shade is like the lightest matte in here. But I think this is a very fun, playful palette. As you can see, I just went to town with this crazy look, but I think it's a very fun, playful palette. Now, these palettes are running for $20.99 on the Beauty Creation website right now for the 35 shades. I got mine on sale at my local mall. There is a, a, like a little beauty kiosk in the middle of the mall where they sell lesser expensive brands such as Beauty Creations, and I got mine for $13.99, great deal. So. If you have one of those vendors or something like that and you're interested in this palette, definitely check and see if you can find it on sale because I saved about seven bucks on this palette. So anyway, this is the Alicia. There's no mirror in here as you can see and there are no names for these shadows. Now, just my general thoughts on this palette is... Is this the most wonderful palette that I've ever used? No, it's not. Is it decent pigmentation and nice quality ease of use for the price? Absolutely. The pigmentation is there. It's very easy to use. The shades blend into each other nicely. Now, I pick colors today that don't blend into each other easily. They're not supposed to be put next to each other. Pink and green do not blend well together. So you just kind of have to stop them, <laughs> you know? or you know try and blend them with a lighter shade of each other but i pick shades that you wouldn't typically blend together because i'm crazy but if you're using this palette to blend out lighter greens and dark greens lighter blues and dark blues then yes they blend together very nicely like i said there's decent pigmentation there's not a lot of kick up in the pan there is a little bit these are brighter shades and when you tap into the pan you will get a little bit of powder but not anything crazy that I haven't seen in higher end palettes as well as lower end palettes. So it's not any type of crazy kick up. But just my thoughts on this palette is I like it. I have a lot of fun with these larger Beauty Creations palettes. I think for the price, they do give divas on a budget something to play around with, something that they can use and have fun in and have a nice, decent palette that didn't cost them an arm and a leg. So just my first impressions. I think it's a decent palette and I really am looking forward to creating some more wild and crazy looks <laughs> with this palette. So let me go ahead and do some quick swatches for you guys and then we can jump into this look. Now, I'm not gonna swatch this whole palette, y'all, because 35 shades is a lot, okay? But I will swatch enough just to give you an idea kind of of how they swatch. Like I said, they're brighter shades, so definitely some of them are going to be powdery. <laughs> but I will just show you what they look like on my skin tone. Fairly decent. 
recently the pigmentation is nice like i said they show up on my skin tone i didn't use a white base on my lids today i just used my regular Too faced born this way concealer which is kind of like a light tan shade but i'm sure if you used a white base they would pop even more on your lids but this is just to give you an idea of what you can expect from swatching this palette. So if you would like to check out how I created this watermelon type look today, then stay tuned because it's coming up next. Okay, you guys. So I'm starting out this look by using this bright primary green shade in the palette. It is a very pretty bright green shadow, a matte shadow, and I'm just tapping that down on my lid, trying to get a feel for the pigmentation in this palette. And it laid down very nicely. I'm not blending it out. I'm just tapping the color down on my lid. Next, I'm going into a darker green shade. And this one actually has a little bit of a teal pull to it. So it's green, but it added a little bit of that kind of blue-green feel to it, and I'm placing that right next to that bright green. Next, I'm going into this super bright pink color, and I'm just tapping that right next to the first green shade, dragging it towards the inner corner of my eye. I'm trying not to put too much color on my immediate lid area because I am doing a cut crease today. Now for my inner corner, I'm taking this really light lime green shade and I'm just tapping that in the inner corner right next to that pink shade. And I'm going back in with the pink just to blend out the edge of that a little bit. So of course I'm going in with my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and I'm just taking a flat shader brush and creating a half cut crease on my lid today, tapping out the edge and I'm going back in with that bright green color, the first one that I used, and I'm just adding that on the outer portion. And next to that, I'm going in with that same pink shade. Now for my inner corner portion of my cut crease, I'm going into this super bright white shimmer shade. I did spray my brush a little bit, but actually I don't think I need it to. This color is super duper opaque you guys very very pigmented so i'm cleaning up a little bit i wanted to use one of my jeffree star liquid lipsticks as an eyeliner that's pretty much why i bought these but the pink one started to look purple on top of that green and i got a little frustrated i wasn't happy because i did not want a purple liner so what i had to do was just kind of build it up with a couple of layers until it actually looked pink which is the color of the lipstick. And the name of that lipstick is actually Diva. So that is the Diva shade. And this is what the eye look looks like, you guys. I'm gonna do my complexion off camera, come back and we'll finish up the lower lash line. So I'm going back in with one of my ColourPop Cream Gel Liners, and this one is in the color Electric Daisy, which is a really light lime green shade. I'm going back into the palette, taking that first bright green, and I'm just using that to smoke out my lower lash line. I wanted to bring some of that green down to the bottom of this eye look. And I'm going back into that bright white shimmer shade, and I'm placing that on the inner portion of my lower lash line. And once again, I was extremely surprised at how bright that white is. I mean, it is gorgeous and perfect for an inner corner. I'm using my Thrive Cosmetics Mascara today for my upper and my lower lashes. And for my lips, I'm using my Fenty Lip Paint, and this one is in the color Unlocked, which is a super bright pink shade. Decided to go ahead and use that since I have such a crazy eye look. And I'm setting this whole look with my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And this is the final look, you guys. I think for a lesser expensive palette, Beauty Creations does provide a nice pigmentation in their shadows. It's a great deal. I had fun creating this look. I know it's a little wild and crazy, but 
I like to see the pigmentation in palettes and what they can actually do. So I really, really hope you guys enjoy creating this look with me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Toodles!